Off his leg again, and hello, it's Vo, and welcome to Ted Minker's Collection Adventure. We're going to pick up where we left off from last time, rooting around in the dumpster, trying to find some treasure. We're going to also keep up with our gardening. We've only got a few things planted just now, but we can... Uh, Plant some more things, expand our garden a little bit, get our skills up, and help complete our gardening aspiration. It's one of the more chill skills that we can work on. Just grow in some nice plants. We're going to work on repairing this little laptop computer that we found and help get our handiness up. We could just repair it magically, but uh, that doesn't give us the handiness skill. So we're going to head over to the Spice Festival. It's next to the karaoke bar. It's a good opportunity to sing some karaoke while we're here. here we don't have any mission to do then we get invited to the festival we're already at so we agree and that generates us our little mission to eat some spicy food it's easy enough done best calls for another thousand simoleons standard that's fine 3k now, but I'm sure we'll get it back. So we're going to go have a look for some snow globes. Root around in this box, see if we can find some. Managed to eat our spicy food. It generates a, a lovely flame, you can tell it's proper spicy when you're breathing fire. So we got to cool down with the old bubble hookah and chill here with the sages get some bubbling going seems like a good social activity sit and blow bubbles together there's also this uh, sort of communal art piece we can do it's just free for anyone. And just paint a section of the pavement. That'll help us get our art skill up a little bit. Now we'll get home for a sleep. Tidy up our inventory a little bit. Get some of our books put away. We're up to level four with cooking. The slow and steady wins the race. We'll get all these uh, skills done eventually. Got some more dumpster furniture to put out. We've swapped over our sink in the bathroom for a better one. We can get all that uh, repaired and uh, cleaned up. Place is coming together nicely. Getting our skills up so a little bit surely. I'm gonna go into the old uh, lot traits section here. We're doing ourselves out of uh, bonuses. So we're gonna go in and uh, pick a few things. Gonna help us with our internet and our great soil, our home studio. Help us get our garden and level up faster. And our plants will be able to evolve faster, give us uh, better produce. And the home studio will help when we come around to painting, writing novels, come out and be in better quality. 
I'm going to choose a few spellcaster perks. Try and get uh, our potions to use less ingredients and for the effects to last a little longer. Hopefully that will help us with our potion of plentiful needs. Hopefully it will mean that our needs uh, stay full for longer. That's the idea anyway. We've got plenty of time to complete our spell book. Get all the spellcaster perks. So we're going back to the park to get some extra collectibles. Bess is called. We've got a return of 25k, which is not too shabby. Considering we only gave her 3k, it's pretty good. Should have maybe chosen the other option to reinvest it with her. Maybe get more in the long term, but. As long as we get something back, can't complain. So we've got a few more collectibles, a few more time capsules to open up, a few more uh, fossils to crack open. We head over to the magical realm, win a battle against a, a fabulously dressed opponent. We'd hang out and do another duel for artifacts or ingredients, but uh, he's away. Come down and get our table that matches our stools. Abracadable. Fantastic. Yeah, we've got enough stools to put around it. I would like them all to match, so we'll go back and get another two at some point. But in the meantime, we can have these stools attached to it. We've got the best computer we can possibly have. We've got out the dumpster. So I don't think we need either of the other two. Because they're not as good. We can sell them, get a few more thousand simoleons. That gets up to about 45k. That's pretty good. We're rolling in the dough now. So again, we're going to try and repair this the old-fashioned way. Get a couple of levels of the handiness skill. Rather than magically repairing it. Keep going and keep going. But it refuses to be fixed. Don't know if it's too complicated a piece of machinery for our skill level. But we end up just uh, magically fixing it anyway. So we can get it working. Start using it. Play some uh, computer games. Get back to trolling the forums. He does love to do that. Prank day, so we need to do some pranking. I don't know if trolling the forums will do the trick, but he does enjoy that, so we'll give it a go. I do a little interior design, change the swatches of some of this furniture. Try and get a purple vibe going on. Purple and black is my favourite sort of uh, colour scheme. Maybe get this light as well. Change that over and get that uh, brought into the right place. So our rooms are starting to come together. Even though we don't have any rooms yet. This aspiration. We have been digging at the little dig sites, but it's not counting. So we're going to switch to spellcraft and sorcery. We've already got uh, two out of the three of the first stage for this. So we just need to cast a spell on another sim. Because it's prank day, we can say, hey, it's just a prank, bro. A 
someone who's uh, running around in the nud. So we're going to try and strangeify them, since they seem to be fine with pranks. Doing a little streaking. I'm sure they won't mind. <laughs> we turned them green and the person refused to serve them. And serving no monsters. So yeah, we're gonna head over at the Magic Realm. Try and learn the last few things we need to learn. Look for some tomes. Fill up our bookshelf a little more. We need to do magic jewels. So we'll try to jewel people for artifacts. Try and get a few more collectibles. Yeah, it's a good excuse to work on getting the magic collectibles. Do some jewels for them. Our inventory is looking pretty full. So we've done the third stage, but we've also accidentally done the fourth stage done everything that we needed to do for the last stage of the aspiration. So we can get another thing for our home. Not sure what we'll choose yet. We don't have to get it straight away. Just should pick something else. Pick Nerd Brain. We'll start working on that. Our other magical aspiration wants us to have a cauldron. So we'll wait until we've got uh, a cauldron before we can finish that one. I'm going to go into the reward store and spend some aspiration points. I'm going to get ourselves super green thumb to help with our gardening. And Savant is going to help with our creative endeavours. We're sleeping, but Simi is just chatting away to us. Bless him. We're going to move our bathroom back a little bit, do a little redesign. Still well within our tile limit. Let's keep that tile limit down so we can have the, the bonuses of having a tiny home. So we'll get things rearranged, get the concrete down. Hide the flat that half of our house is actually outside. bills through is less than a thousand which I think is good news if we can stay like that we should be fine obviously if we get some big expensive uh, items in the, on, in the home I think that will uh, put the bills up but hopefully we can mitigate it we can maybe get some uh, solar panels and a water collector at some point Nerd Brain wants us to read some books. So we've purchased a few directly through the bookshelf. We've got our cooking level up. We've got enough uh, money that we could probably go through and buy one copy of each book. We'll get back to that. And get our logic level up. to do some upgrading for white goods at home. Some manual repairing. Make this handy. So we'll go to our uh, GeekCon festival. Get ourselves another snow globe. Not sure if it's a duplicate of the one we got last time we came here. So we can trade them with someone else further down the line. We've completed our mini aspiration, we're working on the rocket. And we've entered into both the competitions. Programming competition and the computer game competition. So they raise our skill levels. And 
the guys are having a little fun. Got ourselves a future cube. So we've wandered about, going looking for more collectibles in the park surrounding the GeekCon Festival. Playing a little piano. We've got the call about uh, getting the inheritance. But of course we asked under what conditions. We just got a nice 2.5k anyway. Stolen a little bird bath. We can get that sorted out, laid out on our lot. Got a little picture here as well. We'll get that popped out. Also got a couple of tables. I don't think we need either of them. Yeah, we can do with some more interesting furniture. I think just more tables and sort of benches. I think we've had our fill of those. Yeah, things are looking good. We've done enough upgrading that we can. Uh, on to the next part of our aspiration. So we're going to load up on books, basically fill up our bookshelf, get one of everything. It's 25k worth of books. Who can put a price on knowledge, I guess? Certainly not going to bankrupt us. So we're going to switch over to world famous celebrity. We need to become a two-star celebrity. We're not really doing a lot that can make us famous. So we might switch a roo back to something else. But we're getting there with our handiness skill. All the upgrading of our uh, white goods. Same with our gardening. We've got some stuff from our inventory that can be planted. So we're going to focus on our freelance botanist aspiration for a little bit. Work on getting these things planted. Tend into our garden. Make sure everything's well watered. And then evolving it. Get that done in no time. We'll get our garden and level up. We can move all the plants if we don't like our arrangement later on. We've got plenty of space. If we want to expand the house or we want to rearrange our, our outside furniture, all our plants and stuff. We've got ourselves another semi capsule. Treat you to the glory of finding a semi capsule. Do you like the little music and the excitement of the thing popping open? We can get a third stool from the Magic Realm after a few magic jewels to try and get some more artifacts. We need one more. Yeah, it's quite funny, we slowly steal everything from the magic realm. Every time we go back, just take something else. Until they're just wandering around and they got no furniture left. Nothing practical. So we win our first jewel. Sadly, lose our second one. At least we don't lose ingredients or artifacts when we lose the magic jewel. Hopefully, it's been long enough for our burglary cooldown. We've got our, fir our fourth uh, stool. We're finding tomes as well. 
it's not a total loss going over at the Magic Realm. Up to level 8 of the Mischief skill. It does love trolling the forums. Can I get some crystals? Again, it doesn't really matter if we do get uh, duplicates of these. Because we can sell the duplicates off to the uh, Geological Council. They can send us back elements for them. So we're pretty much going to get one of everything. Sort of had a look and see what we need, what we don't need. But as I say, if I accidentally get one that we've already got, it's not the end of the world. We can get it sent off. Even when we complete the elements collection, we can send them away to a jeweler to get them refined down into a small stone. There's also a helmet that you can plug the crystals into to affect your mood. I've still got a few more to get in the crystals. And have a look at our collections here. We've still got a long way to go in order to collect everything, but we'll get there. Come back next time, pick up where we left off from. Until then, take it easy, we'll see you in the next one.